The nice folk at SCS Software like to try to keep everybody happy. After having developed a bus driver, the very first uh, bus driving simulator for the PC, they've turned their hand to HGVs. In Euro Truck Simulator, they have the opportunity to cruise around the roads of Europe. Around a dozen European cities that have been modeled fairly roughly, it has to be said, but they're all identifiable by the money. Both between day and night as well. And it's crucial to understanding the intricacies of this particular career. Well, the aim is simple. Transport the given merchandise from point A to point B. You start the truck, and depending on the budget you have available. Well, there are no manufacturers represented here, but connoisseur will recognizing the models. Each truck has a request. Turning the engine off, the lights on, activating cruise control. It's the little details that make the game so interesting. Once you load, some are more profitable than others, and some require a particular type of license, and it's time to get it loaded. This is almost a game in itself, as you maneuver around. Well, then you can use the map to plan your route. Even if there are plenty of signs along the way to keep you heading in the right direction, you have to be careful not to cause accidents, particularly around town where the traffic uh, can be a little bit unpredictable. Managing your fuel and fatigue level is also part of the game. The latter is particularly important as it has a direct impact on your delivery times. When you reach the destination, you just have to dock in the correct bay and pick up your check. Well, there's not much more to say about the concept, really. The lack of a multiplayer mode is a very disappointing. Aside from that, it would have been good to have some pedestrians or even a radio on board the truck. Euro Truck Simulator will only appeal to a very limited market. Nonetheless, Bus Driver proved that there's an active enthusiast community for this type of game. Euro Truck Simulator has already enjoyed success elsewhere in Europe, so if you're more interested in power than top speed, well, it just might be worth a look.